Once upon a time, in a far-off country, there lived a little orphan girl who sold matches. It was Christmas Eve, and everyone was much too busy to pay any attention to her. All the other children had warm clothes to wear, warm homes to live in, and fine Christmas dinners waiting on their tables. But the poor little match girl had none of these. If she didn't sell her matches, she wouldn't even have enough money for a bite of food or for the simplest shelter on this bitter cold night. Inside the big houses, there were Christmas stockings just waiting to be filled by Santa Claus. But what would Santa have for a poor little match girl? For her, a Christmas present was only something to dream about. If only she could get warm, that would be enough of a gift. She lit one of her precious matches. It gave off a pleasant warmth. But somehow, the light seemed strange. Was she just imagining? Or was it really? Yes, it really was. Santa Claus. Santa nodded to her and said, Come, I have something for you. Oh, how lovely. A warm fur cloak. Her very first Christmas present. But that was only the beginning. For now Santa led her into his magic kingdom, where there were sights that no other child had ever seen. It was very mysterious there. The ice men were so solemn. But somehow, even in this cold land, she felt warm. Santa made some funny motions and, presto, instead of his plain sack, there was a beautiful throne. And as she sat down, the little match girl felt as proud as a princess. So many surprises, she thought. I wonder what's going to happen next. Just then, Santa started banging on his little kettle. Let's have some entertainment, he cried. it was all only a dream, but such a lovely dream. Now that the dance was over, a very strange thing happened. Everyone began to disappear. It was most peculiar. But at least Santa was still here. Then the cloak slipped from her shoulders. Although the little match girl didn't realize it, her match had gone out. All that remained now was the cold snow 
and the memory of Santa and her first Christmas present. Quickly, she lit another match. Perhaps she would see something wonderful again. Slowly, as if from a great distance, a Christmas tree appeared, bigger and more beautifully decorated than any she had ever seen. Underneath the tree were the loveliest dolls, just like those she had seen in the windows of the most expensive toy shop. Oh, how she had wanted just one for her very own. When she looked up at the tree again, a lady appeared. A lady who looked like her lost mother. Was it really she, so gentle, so radiant? Truly, her match must be magic, for now it made the candle sparkle, and beneath its glittering light, lo and behold, the toys came to life. What a gay dance it had been, but now it was all over. Slowly, the dolls and the beautiful lady began to fade away. Again, all that remained of a dream was a burned out match. Please come back, she cried. Please don't vanish like Santa Claus and the beautiful Christmas tree. found her mother again. And now the little match girl would be warm and happy forever. Please.